I am Vandana, a passionate cook who loves to explore more and more recipes which will turn the same old veggies into awesome eatables every day. So, is that your dinner time and are you confused as to what curry to prepare? Today I will be making a spice baby potato curry with cream and fresh Indian spices which definitely makes an all seasons delight. This looks so simple because all the more you are making it from your pantry staples. This goes well with naan, roti, Indian bread or chapati. Here I have got 250 grams of damalu or small potatoes. I am going to wash them under running tap water 3 to 4 times for removing any dirt. And now they are good to be peeled. Rinse them once again after peeling. It is done to stop them from discoloring and also to remove any excess starch as well. Next we need to dry them by keeping on a clean muslin cloth for around 15 minutes and we need to prick them randomly using a fork or a sharp knife. Do not forget to do this step. I have uh, seen people choosing to boil the potatoes before they fry. But for this tried and tested recipe, you can simply throw them in the oil without doing that. For cleaning the potatoes easily, you can just soak them in ice cold water for 5 to 10 minutes, which will help in easy removal of the skin. We need to prick them because we want them to be cooked properly. It is as simple as that. So we will fry them now. You can add salt water while frying or you may choose to add salt in the spicy paste as well. Fry them for a few minutes until they turn golden brown. This is pretty awesome once the potatoes are done the whole job becomes easier with only one part left that is making the crazy spicy and tangy paste. Let's have a look at the ingredients. We have fried potatoes 250 grams, chopped tomatoes 3 numbers, garam masala 1 teaspoon, Kashmiri red chilli powder 1 teaspoon, 3 green chilies and a small piece of ginger, fresh cream 3 tablespoons, Dry mango powder 1 teaspoon, kasuri methi 1 teaspoon. So in a blender I will add the chopped tangy tomatoes. If the tomatoes are too tangy you can reduce it to 2 numbers. And I am adding dry mango powder, then garam masala powder, green chilies and a small piece of ginger. So if you want your uh, dish to be more spicy you can definitely add Kashmiri red chilli powder. So blend all this into a smooth paste. So basically we will start in a pan. I have used oil here. If you prefer you may go for fresh desi ghee as well. Which will surely enhance the taste. Since it's lockdown time it is a bit difficult to zero in on our favorite cooking items. But I guess still we can work with the available ingredients. I will add the ground paste here so as to roast it on a low flame. It will take another 15 minutes to get the required consistency. Potatoes are literally soaked in the most flavorful spicy paste for giving them an all new avatar. Simply cover it and let it be there for about 10 minutes. They taste amazing when you cook them on a low flame. So do not forget to keep the flame on a low so that the potatoes gradually soak in the spicy paste and get coated all over for that rich, creamy and chewy texture. It comes together very fast. Another tip from my side, this recipe can be made more simple by frying the potatoes in bulk and keeping them in freezer in an airtight container. Same way you can make the spicy paste too and refrigerate it. This will stay good for a week. So when there is a sudden doorbell and you have a lot of friends or family coming in for dinner, you are totally cool and safe. You can make them this yummy dish within a few minutes so as to save the time for enjoying with your dear ones. When the curry is done, you can see that the oil comes onto the sides of the pan like this. So, so be sure your dish is ready right now. 
Before serving, just sprinkle some kasuri methi onto it. Kasuri methi is nothing but dried fenugreek leaf. So it is definitely going to add that extra flavor to your dish. Thank you so much for being here. If you got some inspiration for your cooking adventure from this video today, do not forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more and more recipes with a difference. Do let me know your thoughts by pinning your comments down below. See you next week. Bye.